Are these leaves walking? Well, not exactly. Let's talk about this. Welcome to Bug of the Week Part 19, brought to you by Lil Dude's Insect Academy. If you are new here, consider subscribing, uh, leaving a like, maybe leaving a comment down below, following us on social media, and maybe even donating to the Academy to make these videos possible, and a whole bunch of other stuff possible. So, if you're interested in doing any of those things, head down to the description, there's links to all of those. I am back. I had a lovely break during December and the first little bit of January. Um... Spending time with family, friends, over the holidays, over New Year's. Um, so yeah, I had a great break, and I'm super excited to be back. Super excited for this new year. Um, 2023 is going to be big for sure. Um, I would love to set sort of a um, a soft goal for to reach maybe a thousand subscribers this year here on YouTube. That would be absolutely amazing and i think it's totally realistic um you guys are really enjoying this these videos and i really love making them so i'm gonna try and stay consistent and i think we could reach that goal for sure also during 2023 i intend to keep my uh upload schedule of weekly uploads on monday here on youtube for book of the week um along with other videos here and there maybe every month or so there might be a random video in addition to those but also, I intend to keep my weekly my weekly um, video schedule. So, now that we have all of those announcements out of the way, uh, let's just jump right into this episode. These little guys are fondly referred to as leaf cutter ants, comprising of about 40 species within the genera of Atta and Acromyrmex. Leaf cutter ants are endemic to South and Central America, ranging all the way north, all the way up to some parts of Mexico. These ants are particularly partial to humid rainforests and lush jungle. Now, let's move on to a little bit of their anatomy. Similarly to some other ant species that I've talked about in past episodes, you guys can go check those out, um, leafcutter ants are polymorphic, which is basically a nerdy big word, meaning they have different workers of different sizes and abilities for special jobs around the nest and around the colony. Now, leafcutter ants specifically typically have about five main members of the colony, all of which are females. But first, before we get into those, let's get the boring males out of the way. Similarly to many other social insects, such as honeybees, the male leafcutter ant has no job within the colony. His only job is to mate with a virgin queen on her nuptial flight and subsequently die while creating a new colony in the process. A queen will mate with many of these ants, drop her wings, and start a brand new colony from there. A queen only needs to do one nuptial flight in her entire life, so she won't be needing those clunky wings anyway. She then retains all of that sperm for the rest of her reproductive career, which is just crazy to me. It happens over... She will reproduce for many years after that and never have to go and mate again. Now, speaking of the queen ant, let's talk a little bit more about her. Now, many social insects, let's just take honeybees for example, only have one queen per colony, but leafcutter ants, like many other ants, actually can have many queens per colony. The queen or queens are the dominant females of the colony, giving birth to all the workers within. The queens are the only females within the colony who possess the necessary organs for reproduction. Now, another interesting thing is that queen ants do not forage for food or even possess the necessary mouth parts for eating autonomously. So, the worker ants feed her through a pro process that we call trophallaxis. Okay, so we've done the male, we've talked about the queen, now let's get into the hierarchy of the workers and their jobs within the colony. Now, the smallest of the workers are called minims, who tend to the growing brood, care for the queens, and clean the inside of the colony. We'll get into their most important and bizarre job later in the video, but just hold on just a, just a second for that. Next up are the miners. Being only slightly larger than the minims, they are the most plentiful of the workers. Miners are the first line of defense for the colony, easily overwhelming a predator with their massive numbers. Okay, so minims, miners, and now Medii are the next workers after the miners. Medii workers are equipped with razor-sharp mandibles, which they use to forage and cut leaves, 
and I'll get into why that is shortly. Once their mandibles are dulled over use, they move into more of a role similar to that of the miners that I talked about uh, previously. Now lastly, and by far the largest of the workers are the majors. Majors act as soldiers and pack mules for the colony. Majors carry the heaviest of loads, often even letting smaller workers hitch a ride in the process. A colony of leafcutter ants will form a foraging highway, which can stretch for miles and miles throughout the rainforest. The majors also work extremely hard to keep these paths free for their fellow workers and for the good and for the good of the colony. Now at long last, let's get into the fun part, why the ants collect all these leaves. And you may be thinking they probably just eat the leaves that they carry back to the nest. Although that is a good guess, that's not quite right. Leafcutter ants are actually one of the few creatures other than us humans who are known to farm their own food. So what do I mean by that? They're not actually farming the leaves, they're not growing the leaves of these trees. They're harvesting the leaves, they cut the leaves into more manageable pieces, carry them back to the nest, and then feed their food source a species of subterranean fungus. That's right, these ants cultivate a species of fungus called Leucogaricus gongyloforus. I probably butchered that name. They farm this fungi within the cavity of their nest. They place these leaves and plant matter on the fungus. The fungus consumes the leaves, and then the ants consume the fungus. Absolutely fascinating and bizarre. Like, they're one of the only other animals other than us who farm their own food, which is absolutely crazy. So now back to one of the minims jobs. Um, the minims also, their most important job is to care for this fungus and to feed this fungus. So they, they um, fight off pests to this fungus, they feed the fungus, they clean the fungus, they expand the nest so that the fungus can expand. They really just care for this fungus, which is just crazy. They're like the, like the keepers of this food source. So I'm actually super fortunate to have actually seen leafcutter ants of a few different species in the wild. Um, I was in Panama in 2015 for a trip there, and I um, got to see leafcutter ants all the time. They're, they're everywhere in the rainforest in Panama, and they're really interesting. And I'll throw a video up here um, of what they look like when, they, when they're marching on the ground. And from afar, you just see it kind of looks like the ground is moving like because it's just leaves that are walking by themselves because the ants are really small All right so from far away it just looks like the the floor is moving like walking in a line because all you see are these leaves and twigs and grass and stuff like that and so it's super weird to be going through the rainforest and then you just see the ground moving um, and these ants are everywhere. They'll even climb up trees. They climb up the trees to harvest the leaves. So you'll see leaves walking up a tree, right? And so that's not really normal to see. Um, so super interesting, super fun to see. Um, you can actually put like a little twig on their path and they get really annoyed and then they move the stick away immediately. Like within a few minutes, the path is completely clean again. And around the path, there will be dead leaves and debris everywhere, but on the path, it's perfectly clean dirt. It's super crazy how well they keep these highways. So there was one point in the trip where I got to go to a field lab, and um, they were actually doing experiments and research on leafcutter ants, and so they had some captive uh, leafcutter ant colonies in the lab. And so I got to see the fungus and what it looked like, and a whole colony of leafcutter ants in captivity. It was super cool to see the fungus and see all the ants swarming around it. Super, super fascinating. And another thing is, like I mentioned earlier, these highways and these paths will stretch for miles and miles throughout the lush rainforest, and you, ra you will rarely ever see the superhighway or the input for all of these highways, or the colony itself, the nest itself. But on the very last day, we went on a hike, and we actually got to find, I actually found a, a original nest, an original colony of leafcutter ants. So you saw, you know, dozens and dozens of small highways, large highways branching out from this hole. And this hole is where all these highways were going to. So it was really cool to see all these paths throughout the whole week I was there and then see the source of all those paths on the very last day. It was like a full, it, it was awesome. It was so cool. 
Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. I can obviously talk about these guys for hours, and I really only scratched the surface. I didn't really talk about their individual anatomy, so if you guys would like to learn about that in the future, um, let me know. I can make a, a part two to the leafcutter ants. They are super fascinating, and they're actually, the individuals themselves look pretty unique. They have very long legs. Very cool. So if you guys would like to hear about those, then I can definitely think about that for a future episode. But nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, maybe subscribe. Um, I'm super excited about 2023. So if you'd like to stick around, then do that. Go check out um, the 18 other episodes I have. Um, so with that, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I will see you all next week and keep on bugging.